Hello everyone and welcome. We have CitizenCon schedule released to the public today and it is a two-day event that's happening on October the 19th. Just if you guys wanted to catch the show. Now these times, these time slots are in UK, UK time. So 11 a.m. UK would be 6 a.m. Eastern time, 5 a.m. CST time and 3 a.m. PST time, which is Man, that is brutal for West Coast people, but that is a schedule. And so we finally have an idea of what the panels are. So the first panel is called Brave New Worlds. It says, introducing Genesis, the innovative suit of technology and processes with Star Engine that breathe new life into truly immersed worlds, achieving the fidelity and scale required to fill an entire universe so brave new worlds they're probably gonna show you know i heard predictions that people were thinking that they might show their new planet tech they may have um, upgraded the technology and just makes like i know they've worked on uh height maps and um just making the planet look more lifelike but I mean, what I want to see is like we've seen we've seen Microtech, you know, like the the snowy, snowy planet with pine trees and mountains. I want to see a jungle biome really badly. Like, what this this star engine was birthed from the Cry Engine, right? And Crisis, like I want to see a Crisis-like map: palm trees in the jungle, in the beach. You know just that jungle biome so yeah and you know i want to see just something new because we've seen pyro and and stanton like it just all looks it's just the same things so I'm, I'm hoping that we see something new and they give us some different biomes some different star systems that we can check out but the next one is a social universe so it's the people you meet and the bonds you form that truly bring the verse to life. Dive into how we're evolving social features to maximize your adventures. Ooh, social features. What does that mean? Do it. Does that mean we finally get? Does that mean we finally get an org UI? Does that mean, you know, it's more than just this global chat that we've had for like what eight years now? This just we need a robust system that lets us whisper you know our friends and tells us you know if, if you're in game and then your hud shows that your friend just popped online and you could just message them that way and it's more di diegetic you know like an actual mmo with proper uis proper social features and, and ui that supports that because like that's sorely lacking in the game so i i really hope that's what that is uh, it says from a personal one-on-one -on -one interaction to massive gatherings with hundreds and even thousands of players so that that's telling me there, there might be some some org some org updates hopefully and just the idea of the game being an mmo and what we need to support it being an mmo which is you know what i stated some proper social features because like yeah, just right now, just the basic friend system in the menu and then the global chat and going in your Moby Glass and searching the global list to see who's on the server. Like, that's just so bare bones, you know? So I'm looking forward to some good updates. And then the next panel is some cosplay competition. So if you guys want to tune in for that, you can see some cool cosplay. Hopefully we see... I'm hoping we see some new armors that are cosplayed. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll see someone with some cool outfits. But so that's in uh, time slot 245 UK time. And then so the next panel, Dress to Kill. So it says, from high fashion to dynamic fun function, discover Starware and exciting new character focus specializations that you define your identity and take on the challenge ahead. Okay, so Starware. Wow. So, hmm. What could that be, Starware? I, 
if I had to guess, that's probably... <sighs> maybe it's related to Starcloth in like the new... Maybe some new clothes, new clothing system. I know in I can't remember if it was twenty twenty one Citizen Con. One of the one of the Citizen Cons they were showing some clothings that had pouches in them, and these pouches you could like store you know items and stuff. But I hope I hope that also means that we get coats and stuff that let us store pistols in our coats, like you know Blade Runner style. You got a Blade Runner coat. You put your pistol in there and holster it and you pull it out. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then it says, including the return of legendary friend from CitizenCon's past. Who does that? Hmm. Are they talking about Jax McCleary? They might be. Uh, that's who I could think of. Okay. And then now the next panel, Beyond Pyro. So, to the fantastic reaches beyond... Stanton and Pyro join us as we explore exciting new frontiers of Star Citizen's persistent universe. So, I'm calling it right now. We're going to see Nyx. We're 100% going to see Nyx and Levski cuz we've seen we've seen leaks on Levski. We know we've they've uh, probably reworked it, probably given it to the Montreal team to, you know, back the, back when they um joined the team and started working on uh Outpost, they probably gave it to them, and I bet you we're gonna see Nyx. Um, I don't know, beyond Nyx, like, yeah, I think we're gonna see Odin as well because the Odin system is part of Squadron 42, so I, I don't see why we wouldn't see it in the PU because they can port that over. And then, as far as Nyx and Odin, ugh, I really don't know, it's it is honestly a wild guess. Um, I would like to see Terra. I would like to see the Terra system, but we'll see. But definitely, I mean, it says beyond Pyro, so we know they're gonna talk about new star systems. Like it cannot just be Pyro this year. It has to be something new. So that's really, really exciting. I hope we get more star systems. At least, at least if we get to see three or four, that would be really cool. And then the next panel is redacted. So, and wow, that is a long, long panel. So it's from 5.30 UK time to 9 p.m. And this is part of my prediction. I think I think they're going to show off Squadron 42. Um, I've predicted that they might get some of the actors on stage, maybe, and perhaps announce a release date. My guess is Squadron 42 comes out in 2026. Could be wrong. And... Um, I know, I know some of you guys have mentioned that uh, they need to nail down the, the uh, flight system in order for them to announce it. That's a good point. But I don't know. I have the hunch that they're, they're going hands down, two hands down with the flight system. And they're just going to try to push Squadron out the door. So we'll probably see a Squadron 42 announcement. So this is redacted. Uh, I think... Uh, we're gonna see uh, what some of you guys have mentioned that we'll probably see a vertical slice. Yeah, that is highly likely. We'll probably see a one-hour demo of Squadron 42. Uh, are they gonna announce it on console? I don't know. That is that is crazy if they're gonna do that. Um, and man, what else could they do? Like that is such a long panel. That is what. That's like three hours. That's three and a half hours of showing stuff that's that's redacted. So, but definitely it's going to be all Squadron Forty Two related, I think. Um, and yeah, like just I can't think of anything else other than a release date and vertical slice. And they might they might say how they're gonna they might explain how they're gonna release it too because I've wondered about that too. How are they going to transition the game? Is it going to be... This is my question. Is the game going to be purchased directly from their website? Or are they really going to release it on Steam? Is it going to be a PC-only release? Or are they going to also announce it on consoles? Like, there's just so many questions. And, uh, you know, I've been wondering. And also, they what they took away the Squadron 42 package from the Pledge Store. 
So they're probably going to bring it back. Most likely they're going to bring it back and sell it. And it's going to be a higher cost for sure. They might do some like um, promotional uh, pledges for it too. Uh, maybe they might release the game or offer the game with, with a ship. Who knows? But those are just my thoughts on that redacted panel. So that's day one. And then day two is on October the 20th. So Destiny You Forge. And that starts at 10 a.m. UK time. So it says, this one's interesting. Whoa, crafting your home. So explore the fundamentals of crafting and base building, including how they combine to enable new opportunities for players and ultimately create the future of life among the stars. Dude, give us base building, baby. Holy cow, I am stoked for that. So they're, they're gonna show off base building. They announced that they were working on it in Q1 2024. So they have something to show. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm predicting we're gonna see the galaxy because I said this in my CitizenCon prediction videos um, that that they're coming out with the Polaris and the Polaris shares the same assets as like any other RSI ship. So like they're all in the same family and the Galaxy is also an RSI ship. So yeah, I just think, I think there's a good chance they're gonna show this off with the Galaxy and then show off how base building works, like what kind of different types of buildings there are, um, how the power management system works because that that's going to come online with ships and also uh base building um yeah just different types of buildings that we can craft and you know gar garage buildings i think um and just yeah just any different type of buildings that we'll see i think um it's going to be really exciting and and probably they're going to talk about um the uee what was it this uee land claim i'm i'm guessing they'll bring that up because they're probably going to explain how uee uee man that is a freaking tongue twister uee land claim how they're, they're going to explain how that works and where we place it in the universe so i'd like to see them explain that and yeah just base building which long time coming i'm super excited for that and then the next panel is captains of the industry so it says uncover the ships and ground vehicles that will serve as your primary tools and base building in the verse revisit a classic and more okay so uncover the ships and ground vehicles that serve as your primary looks yeah that that sounds like to me they're gonna show off the galaxy in that panel that's the impression i get and then the next panel or the last panel is the stars of my destination holy cow star citizen 1.0 they're really talking about 1.0 man these guys <laughs> cig okay so it says pvp pve non-combat what type of what type of game is Star Citizen? If you want answers, join us as we outline a high-level or overview of Star Citizen 1.0 and what our intentions are for our epic shared universe. All right. So, they're probably finally going to explain I hope with this they're going to explain lifetime insurance because yeah, LTI that's been in the back, um they need to they need to get that elephant in the room out the like just out the door and just explain explain um, how it's gonna function and work and then explain what the game is um, they're probably gonna explain it with dynamic server meshing in mind so what their vision is of the game uh, I hope they talk about the mission givers if you guys remember they dropped off with the mission givers like we, we had what what clovis and tika pachenko and all these other people there was a mission giver in new babbage who was like supposed to be at the bar and then they just kind of abandoned it or left it 
uh, left it alone for a long time, but I hope they talk about mission givers and how that is going to function in game, especially with like thousands of players in the same shard. Like, how does that work, man? Like, when you talk to a mission giver, is it going to be like, are people going to line up in a Congo line and then, you know, one by one talk to the mission giver? Are they going to be instants? So those are my questions about mission givers. And I mean, I, I'm sure they're going to talk about low sec, low sec star systems. So um, systems that don't have as much security and you're really in a dangerous place or, you know, pyro is an outlaw system. So there's no security then mid sec and high sec. So places like Terra and yeah, they're just going to go over the overall vision of the game. I'm thinking so that is a two and a half hour panel and yeah that's pretty much what we are expecting in citizen con those are my thoughts and what i think about um the panel so far but guys just uh just a little overview of citizen con and the schedules i'm pretty excited i'm still debating if i'm i'm in eastern time zone so i don't know if i'm gonna wake up but we'll see if i definitely not gonna wake up for the venue like i'm gonna go for the 11 a.m um panel for sure but yeah guys that is the citizen citizen con schedule thanks very much for checking out the video let me know if you guys are excited for citizen con i know it's going to be a huge info dump um it's going to be great and we finally get to see what cig is working on and they got the balls to talk about star citizen 1.0 which is a good sign but yeah, that is our video. Thanks very much for checking it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.